What's going on? Welcome to another traditional Thursday here on Lax All Stars. Today we're going to talk about shooting strings in pita pockets because uh, we got a lot of questions about them. We just did a tutorial, which is on our YouTube page, shows you how to walk through all the steps of a pita pocket. Final product we came out with was this. Came out well. This is for Joel Taliento. SUNY Binghamton or Binghamton University club lacrosse player. One thing I didn't talk about in the video though was shooting strings. So let's talk about shooting strings. You might be wondering why why my hair is down. Why am I wearing these sunglasses? It's a fair question. I'm inside. It's raining in, in Brooklyn. So that's not not a lot of rationale there. The reason why is because I'm going to show you how to put shooting strings in on this head. Also has a pita pocket in there. This is going out to Gianni Namer, the man, the myth, the legend out in California. Okay, so putting the hair down Cali style, wearing sunglasses. Uh, we'll see if I can see through these in my dark apartment. Colin Doyle, what do you think about me? Uh, yeah, you think it's a good idea? Yeah, of course you do. Big shout out to Derek Blazuti from the Brampton Excelsiors for hooking me up with this bobblehead. I now have two. Uh, Julie Farmer gave me the other one. Uh, Cody Jameson, so classic. Uh, always looking for lacrosse bobbleheads, right? You want more company, don't you? Yeah, he's a little bit lonely. He's a little bit lonely. All right, let's get serious, talk a little bit about shooting string theory for pita pockets, traditional sticks. It's really all the same kind of stuff. First step for me, whenever I'm putting shooting strings in, is going to be to get a nylon across the top. And this is a nylon string, and there are lots of different string that are made out of nylon. Um, you know, for me, I think this is actually a piece of cross lace. I like that. Sometimes I'll use two pieces of cross lace, stack one right into the top of the other. Some people will use a thicker shooting string up there. I mean, it's all personal preference. You'll find what works for you, what release you like best. You know, a different thickness of string will give you a slightly different release. So, you know, experiment with it. But I'm going to go with the super thin cross lace. And I always attach that first shooting string to the plastic, okay? So I'm going through that hole. See how I... Oh, there's an empty hole right there. Okay, right. I'm going to use that empty hole. Okay, and I'm going to go underneath the sidewall. And then I'm just going to pick a straight path across the head, a consistently straight path, so that it's the same on both sides. And I'm going to go, you know, especially with the pita pocket, because they are the same on both sides. So I'm going to go over that first piece of cross lace, and then under that synthetic leather. And then I'm going to go over this piece of cross lace and under that leather. Okay over this piece of cross lace under that leather. Okay, it's a very simple weave. Over, under, over, under, over, under. And I just make sure that I go over and under the same pieces on both sides. And that's going to give you that top, that solid top string. Okay, I try to put it as high as I can. See how high that is? You really can't get a lot higher than that. Okay, on the stick. So now I'm just going to go wherever I went over the and I'm going to go under wherever I went under. I'm going to go over, wrapping it around. It's a very standard, basic, you know, shooting string. I mean, there's nothing special about it. So now I've got that done. That was easy. Very easy. Okay. Uh, now I want it to be, again, taut, right? I want it, you know, I don't want to be able to push hard against it and have it give a lot. Okay. But a little bit is okay. So what I do here again, I'm going to take these two strings and instead of, you know, one over the other and then one over the other again, okay, I don't do that um, when I use nylons. I find that those knots come untied a lot, even if, uh, even if you're using the right ones. So again, just like I did to tie off the bottom of the pita pocket, 
I'm just going to put those two pieces of string together right next to each other and I'm just going to do a simple loop and run both pieces through that loop. Just one of those, right? Kind of like you'd tie off the end of any piece of string, I'm just going to use both pieces at once, do them together and tie that off. Now the reason I do that is A, uh, the knot stays it doesn't come untied, it doesn't come loose. Uh, B, it's relatively easy to adjust it. You can make it a little looser, you can make it a little tighter. So the first time you go out and play wall ball with this stick and you don't really know exactly how it's going to throw, and maybe you say, all right, I'll, I want it to hit that a little bit softer, I want it to hit it a little bit harder. Okay, it's easy to change. So that's locked in there. All right, cool. So we've got our first shooting string done, our nylon done. Right now I want to do, I'm going to go, some people might put a second nylon in. I'm going to go right to hockey laces. Okay, so I got this. Here's, we'll go white first. All right. I got three different colors. I'm going to go with white first. And I want to put this one around the plastic too, or through the plastic if I can. But here you can see I want to put it right underneath this one. There's really not a place to put it under the plastic or through the plastic, so I'm going to go under the plastic. Okay. Very similar to how I put the first one in. I mean, the exact same. You're just finding a different straight path. Okay, I'm going to go one row of knots down. And then I'm going to come through the other side. Okay, through the plastic. Now I'm going to run this other one over the plastic across like that. So that's still going to be locked down on the side. And again, you know, wherever I went under, I'm going to go over. And I'm going to loop around. Right? You can see. Okay, it's really just that spiral. The first one, you know, the first time you pass through with the first piece of shooting string, it's just over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. And then the next time, it's over, under, and around. Over, under, and around. Over, under, and around. And eventually, you quickly get to this point. All right, now I'm going to tie this off. And for this, I will just, you know, one through the one over the other, and then do that again, and that'll that'll lock your your shooting string down. So here we go. Excellent. Right, for the next shooting string, Johnny Namer plays for the Salt Shakers a little bit. White. Yeah, it's in everybody's uniform. They, they rock black quite a bit, so we'll go with that one. Um, now this, I'm not going to lock down onto the plastic. Okay, so I'm just going to go through here, through the sidewall area. Okay, since I went under it, I'm going to go over here, under, over, under, over, under, over. Now, let's look at where I put this, okay? So, I'm in the same row of diamonds as this one, but I'm below a diamond here. And this is how I put my shooting strings into my traditional sticks as well. Ideally, in a traditional stick, you've got, you know, on your first and third leathers, you have an interlock at the same place. On your second and fourth leathers, you have an interlock in the same place. On your first and third leathers, you have a second interlock at the same level. So I put shooting strings in between, in between, in between. Okay, so you always have two overlocks on the first and third above, and two on overlocks on the second and fourth below, uh, or vice versa. Right. So it's the same setup here. So here I've got one above, one one below. Okay, here inside the diamond you get two. 
in the next one we'll have two in this diamond and only one here. So now I'm going to run the other side of this black shooting string through. Now again, when I'm putting shooting strings in, much like what I said in the Peter Pocket tutorial, you know, do you want to take your time and get your knots right, or do you want to try to make sure that it's tight? The first time I put the shooter through, it's pretty loose, and then I'll go through and tighten it, just to make sure that there's no bunching when I first put it in. Again, especially string sticks, putting in shooting strings, you know, even just fixing a sidewall, whatever it might be, taking your time, doing it right, you're going to find that that makes a world of difference. All right, so now we've got two, two hockey laces, we've got a nylon up top, All right, now we're going to put in our final shooting string. And again, so we're going to have, it's going to be here, but below this knot, because we already have two in there. So I'm not going to lock this one down, bright pink, shakers, have a little pride in this club team, good man, okay, under right there. first half, you can see. Okay, so I've gone over the leathers and under each piece of cross lace. So now wherever I went under, so I went under both the sidewall and that first piece, so i got to go over, under, and around. So now i got to go over, under, And around. Repeat that the whole way across. Over, under, and around. I mean, that's simpler than tying your shoes. Now, there's another way to do this. You can roll them. And we'll do that next time. And we'll show you how to do rolled shooters next time. That's where you're not going over, under with your first rotation. You're just going over. You're going over every single piece. And then your second string, you go around both the leather or the, or the piece of cross lace and the top of the shooting string. It's an interesting way of doing things. It's a little old school, but it works. It's a different feel. You know, I think that's how Mark Matthews, maybe, maybe most people call them barreled shooters today. But, so there we go. <clears throat> There's that sh third shooting string in there. I'll obviously trim all this. Okay, California cool. That's shooting strings. Pretty easy. Uh, hopefully, Colin Doyle learned a thing or two. Yeah, yeah, of course he did. Of course he did. Hopefully, you learned a thing or two. If you got questions, shoot them into us via email info at lacrosse all stars. Put traditional Thursday in the subject line. Make it easy on us. We'll try to get to them. Thanks for reading. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.